Okay, listen, listen. Better acting. Yeah. Actually, we even, the worst actor on the show actually had a good scene this time. No shade. <laughs> For shade. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for The Oval. This is season two, episode two. Like I said, you all know that I cannot, I cannot with that son. That son, his acting is horrible. He's cute as a button, but his acting is horrible. But old boy had a good scene tonight. But anyway, we're going to get to it. Let's start at the beginning. Um, we got Kyle and Jane in the elevator, and Kyle's basically bullying Jane now. It's a, it's a constant, I guess we're going to see a constant back and forth of Kyle bullying Jane to stay together for what she's seen. He sent her and told her there's a, a carpet, you know, red wine on the carpet. You go in there, clean that, and then get out of there fast because they're on their way to set the other. You got to keep yourself together. You know you took an oath and blah, 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 blah. Told her this story about... The, the woman that was dead in the basket was a Russian spy. Okay, Jane. Jane go in the room, lift up the carpet, baby, and sees blood. It was like, oh, Jesus. Um, a mess. A whole mess. whole mess. Funny thing, though, they dropped Nancy... Nancy and the father and the son off at home and they're like he said you can't stay here you gotta go somewhere else we gotta get the house cleaned up before you go back because Nancy ain't all there so the neighbor was all like girl come on over you want some tea she gonna say no but I know you do Chai fell out. I said, come on, Tyler. No, you ain't throwing jokes up in there I thought that was funny I really did I thought that was funny but that was that for that. Him and the, the father and the son is going, listen, here we go with a Tyler Perryism. They're going right down the block or so to the pharmacy to actually talk to the girl because she ain't answering the phone. Tell me how it went from light to dark and it took all day into the night for them to do that. Whatever, Tyler. Anyway, moving on. First lady walks into her room and catches Jane cleaning and literally going to say, bitch. I was like, really, Victoria? Don't tell her, bitch, get out. And she's like, leave the glass there because there was a glass there with lipstick on it. She left. She's like, leave it there. She ends up then going into the closet, see, because she's mad now. So she got a whole bunch of displaced anger. So that's why Jean got called a bitch. Then she goes in the closet and takes all these clothes and just start throwing them all over the ground. She don't like none of them all of a sudden. So you know that means she's going to take it out on Lily. But little do she know, baby, Lily is on a whole. Lily was on one baby. Okay? So she thinking she's going to go fuck with Lily. Lily is so ready for her. But anyway... So that was that whole thing. Once she saw the lipstick, she heads on down to the Oval where the president is at. And he's telling her, like, you know what I mean? Like, he never got the chance to tell her to do that the the mistress was dead. But she was telling him, because she saw that he was on something, something was wrong with him, he wasn't in the mood. He kept saying, I ain't in the mood. You know what I mean? And she's like, someone is here reporting things to my parents. So we got to really watch the study. He's like, I'm I'm so over it. I don't want to hear it. But then right before right before they could get into it real good, here comes Donald. So she ends up leaving. Donald sitting in there. President tells Donald what happened. Donald calls Cal. Cal's like, I'm taking care of it. And he tells Donald, sit with me. Just sit with me. Somewhere in there, I, I was thinking it too. I was thinking it. Kyle done got fixated on the president now. And 
later on, Kyle was asked by Donald, you in love with him now? And he gonna say, would that make you jealous? I said, oh shit. Anyway, moving on. Do y'all remember when Lily came to the White House last time and old nasty Jason was antagonizing her, walking around naked and carrying on? He pulled that mess again on Lily, honey. Lily, but see, this is a different Lily. Lily go and bust in his room. He gonna say, get out of here. I'm naked. She said, I don't care nothing about it. And told him, you know what? Your butt is cute. But you really should be embarrassed about that little bit or whatever that is you got in front of you. It's pitiful. It's no wonder you're such a pervert. She told me, you did that the last time I was here. But it's not going to work. I don't think it's cute. You're ridiculous. You're creepy and you're a pervert. And you ought to be ashamed of that little bit of stuff you got. She's like, see you later. I said, oh, no, she didn't, Maddie. Let his ass have it. I said, uh-huh. Uh -huh. He likes that whole shock value of doing that to people. She turned that mess around on him. He didn't even know what to do with himself with his little little butt. I said, child, this butt is flat. I don't know what Lily was talking about. That butt ain't cute. That butt is flat. Anyway, and if he flat in the front and the back, he walk around just looking like a Ken doll, ain't he? Anybody got time for it? Anyway, moving on. Right after that, baby, it was Victoria versus Lily, honey. Victoria goes and she starts to try to do her little thing with Lily. Lily was like, I don't care about nothing that you're talking about. And they get to going back and forth, Hattie. And Victoria's like, excuse me, it took her a minute. Like, I know this bitch ain't talking to me like this. Hattie, Lily was getting her together. She going to tell her, you know what? You're a bit of a bitch, aren't you? She said, and you are too, aren't you? So do you know who you're talking to? She says, ooh, I must have forgot. She says, see, ain't nobody think about you. And she told her, you know, I was looking at those things you brought, and all of them, they kind of look like you. You know, just cheap. And it just all just came across as cheap, like what you wear. She said, really? My clothes are not cheap. I have a good career. She said, see, no designers want to work with you. She going to say, no, it's because they don't know how to work with a black woman's body. She said, is that what they told you? She said, no, girl. See, clothes don't just come across cheap. It's who puts them on that cheapens the clothes. And the designers, they all felt like you cheapened their brand. I said, oh, no, lady. She told her, careful. She said, and you too. You too. You be careful too, bitch. I said, come on through, Lily. And she said, so how does it feel to be married to a gay man? She said, I don't know. You tell me. She said, but see, I'll tell you this. Serial killers start off as perverts. You ought to get your little boy some help. I said, oh! They was, baby, they was going at it. I said, okay. She ended up leaving. She walked on off. And she ran into Donald on the staircase. Donald said, she said, don't say nothing to me. Don't touch me. I don't care nothing about it. I ain't got no time for that bitch. He said, oh, oh don't say that. She said, that bitch, that bitch, that bitch up there. I said, oh, all right, honey. And, um, Donald goes up there. Then Victoria attacked Donald. I'm going to say, am I the bitch she's talking about? He's going to say, oh, no, no, no. She said, you're not a good liar, Donald. This, that, and the other. And she starts telling him, there's a leak in this house. There's leaking information out, and you need to fix it. He says, okay, because the president sent him to the bedroom to get something. He said, well, I got to go to the bedroom. She's like, you're not going to my bedroom. Get on out of here. He was like, um, I need to get something out of the bedroom. She said, oh, so that's where you're planning on fixing the leak in the bedroom? Is that it, Donald? He said, I don't know what you're talking about. She says, oh, no, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I said, oh, she's just picking at him. Pick, 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 hey. But she wouldn't even let him go to the room. He ended up having to go back, talk to her. Uh, the president. The president was like, whatever. Max and Kyle got to going at it, child. And listen, Max told Kyle, let's do this, honey. Let's do it. He said, we do it, but not so much here, because I ain't trying to lose my job over you. He's like, mm, whatever. I said, oh, gosh, just a whole mess. Then Kyle got into it with Sam. Sam said, I need to know what went on. You know, Kyle, what what, what, what was that all about? He's going to tell him, I ain't, I, I'm, I'm not able to tell you that. 
I'm not allowed to give you that information. He told him, listen, don't play these games with me. Do not play these games with me. He told him, you watch yourself. You watch your ass around here. He's like, okay. He wouldn't tell him what went on in that room now. Anyway, I said, okay. So then the president met up with Donald and Kyle together. And Kyle just clammed up and wouldn't give any details about anything. The president wanted to know what happened to her, what happened to her body and all of this kind of carrying on. Baby, Kyle wasn't giving up a thing. I didn't tell the president, it's taken care of. That's that. End of story. End of story. Then the last thing we had, honey, is over there at that pharmacy. Listen, nasty, honey. The little boy at the pharmacy been eating girlfriend's box all day long while they were at work. He been munching on her box off and on all day. So finally she decided to go ahead and give him some. Baby, after the store closed, he's over there busting her down. The father and the son were on their way there. He said, if I, you know, ask about the knife, where the knife come from? Oh, I don't know. Where the money come from? I don't know. Don't know nothing. Not about nothing. He said, I'm seeing something in you. And I, and you, he said, I know you're all on edge. He's like, my daughter. You, you know, the whole little situation about my daughter? He's like, mm, that's something else. I'm like, yeah, you're crazy as hell. That's what's going on. He said, uh, you need to talk to the pastor. You need to calm down. He says, okay, fine. I'll do that. Baby, they pulled up to the store. The son seen them screwing. The father ain't seen it. He was getting out the car. He got back in the car, turned the car on, baby. And the father was like, what are you doing? Cars in drive, baby. And ran the car, the truck, right up through the window, honey. I said, mm. But in the, the whole thing, you could see him starting to snap. And I said, now this is the first thing that he did where he actually gradually went into what he was going into and we got it. We got it. Your whole acting, that was his best scene so far. But yeah, baby, he done blew up in there, honey, and it's getting ready to go down. He's crazy. Something's wrong with him. He, he's, 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 he's a nut, so, honey. He, he's a little loose, honey. But anyway, that was the Oval. It was pretty good. Pretty good. It moved along. You know, I like the Oval. Shout out. Oval be moving. They don't be having too many long scenes. You know, Tyler be doing. They get all long winded, honey. But no, it was it was moving along. I was like, oh. So especially when that grandmother shows up, Patty, she moves it right along. But anyway, I'll catch y'all next week. Later. <laughs>